Okay, so I'm live right now on StreamYards. Yeah, I'm live right now. Yeah, that's my email, so I don't know how I can invite you. I forgot how to do it. Let me see. No, I don't want to log in. Yeah, I'm on here now. Okay, um, send a link. What do you have to do? Go 45, okay. Now where's, I have to do something else? Send link to email. What do I have to do? I thought I could just invite you to the stream. That's what I used to do. Mm. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Hey, how am I supposed to get you in there? I got so good. All right. Now what am I supposed to do? With, uh, to him now. So, to him now. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let me send a link. I just put it in the room, I guess. I'll put it in. Uh, let me just put it in your, um, you know, regular YouTube. Yeah, I'll put it in here. Okay. Here. Yeah, I just put it in YouTube. Hopefully that works. I haven't been on here in a while. I did this like last week for a couple minutes, but I... Yeah, I invite people. Oh, invite. Okay. Yeah, here's the link to invite. Copy. So let me see if I can invite you. Yeah, try that one on the bottom. I should be able to invite you with that link. Maybe if you just click on that link, you should be able to come in. Hmm. Okay. Hey, did you click on that link?
I sent you that. I put the link in here. Share's getting creepy. Yeah, I just sent you the link. Why can't I invite you? Oh, okay, I think I just did. Man, it's a strain. Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, man? Been you in a while. I know you too. <laughs> must you must have been busy. Yeah, I took a couple of years off actually. I started another business, you know. And I'm I, working. I think I think you were on early this year. Yeah, yeah, you were on like in probably in February, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was on a little bit, and then uh, <laughs> like then I stopped making videos, you know. But I was on a little bit, you know, here and there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So how you been doing? What have you been up to? Well, not much. Same old. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I started uh, like working like every day, you know, and then have the weekends off. And then I started doing another business where I buy stuff and resell it, you know, so I kept me busy for a while. Yeah, but I want to get back on, you know, I want to start doing the live streams and the shorts, you know. You know, I always wonder, you should, why don't you have more people come in? What? I always wonder that. Oh, to bring more people in? Yeah, you can. You have to put the link in be. The, inside the YouTube. I was saying, why don't more people come in here? Like, you know, like you, you have a thousand subscribers. I know. Same over with me, and I like, I have like six hundred. You know what? I think a lot of those people, I don't think even they're even on anymore because it's funny because I don't see any of those people. I got like twelve hundred subscribers, and I ho I see like maybe five people that. I knew from before, and we, I, I used to always come in, you know? Um, yeah. When I go live, nobody comes in much, most of the time. I mean, a lot of the time, when they do, they just say hi and leave. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I want to set it up where, like, you know, um, people can hang out like what we used to do, you know? Everybody, you know, just talking and not but you know I guess uh, I guess it takes time but I've been doing good on YouTube you know yeah. I, got, like, I'm, I haven't like uploaded anything legitly since March well actually May uh -huh. yeah what I started doing is these shorts and I made some you know did a few live streams but um, I joined some of those ladies uh, from before, um, and they, you know, shared a playlist and stuff, and, and three days a week I go on there, and today I got, people have been watching my videos for like six hours today. You know, what was the most views you ever got for a video or whatever? I think the most views I ever got. It's like 350, okay. somewhere around there. I thought, like, I remember last time you said it was like 400. But, you know, I go on YouTube Real. You ever go on there? You can get a lot of views on there. I got 3,000 on one video on Facebook. Facebook Real. Yeah. But you can't, on... make no, you can't make no money on there unless... Uh, you get a hundred thousand. That's all. That's a lot. I mean, you gotta really come out with some good videos for that. 
Yeah, YouTube is only one thousand. Yeah, I know. And I got I, actually. Actually, I, I checked. Uh, I was on. I was. I want to. I was on a channel. Your channel the other day. I checked. I think the most views you got was like five hundred. I believe so. Oh, I didn't know I even had that high. The um, most views I got on the video was two thousand. I was doing a cigar review. Oh, you mean like one video, or you mean like all two vid? Guys? One video. I did that one video? I got two thousand subscribers. Oh, oh two thousand views then. Yeah. No, oh, that's a lot, man. Shoot. Yeah, I, I, uh, I might have got. You gotta. I think. Sometimes you gotta give people what they like, or what they could possibly like. Yeah, people. Yeah. No, sometimes you gotta give people what they like for sure, and that's yeah. what I did. I, I know a lot of people that like reviews of the even like tobacco reviews. Okay, yeah. And I did it, and it was on a cheap. It was a cheap gas station cigar. I did it on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's funny. You know that, you know that brand, Billy. Yeah, so a couple hours. You know that, <laughs> yeah. You know that brand, Phillies. Uh, that's what I did it on. Yeah, yeah. Blunts, right, Billy? Blunts. Yeah. Yeah, back in Pennsylvania, I used to live there, and they're not too far from Philly, and that's when they would put the stuff in there. You know, everybody. That's when rap was always talking about blunts and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's cool though. You know, you got a lot of views on that. Man, two thousand. Did a video on Dutch Masters got by over five hundred and sixty views. No, that was four hundred. I did a review on Paul Mall. The blue pack of cigarettes. It was light. It's light. Like the blue pack. It got like over five hundred and sixty views. Wow. Yeah, that's good to try. You know, you can get that because a lot, like you said, uh, maybe a lot of people like that. That's why I want to do the computer stuff, but I also want to do like, you know, everybody come in the room and try to get watch sit and watch time and all that. You know. But you know, I like to um, see. Now I'm retired. I don't have worry about work too much. I only got to work a couple days a week because I retired. You know, I turned 62. So I retired. And, uh, you know, I got to work maybe two, three days a week. I don't, you know, other than that. You are the same age as uh, some people I know of. You are born in 1960, right? Yeah, 1960. So like next month will be my birthday, January 1st. New Year's Day. I'll be sixty three. You know. Yeah, um, I was born in two thousand twenty two. Two thousand. Oh, two thousand. Okay. Well, yeah, you, you, go. you could be my grandpa. <laughs> I know. People always say to me though, like, you don't look sixty two. The guy yesterday I, I sold some I sold a wrench to because I buy a lot of tools and I resell them to people, crafting tools and everything. And guys like, you don't look 62. You're my age. I'm like, I don't know, man. (laughs) That's how old I am, you know. I got a brother. He's like 40-something. My sister, like 50-something. And an older brother, two years older than me. Yeah, I thought you I thought you could have been in your like when I saw you I thought you could have been like in your mid your early or mid fifties. You like you you were you said I heard one video a few years ago without knowing you you like you said you're like fifty nine. Yeah, it probably was, you know, back then I was like fifty nine. Right. Yeah. Ah. Are you doing good for sixty two, huh? Yeah, pretty good, you know. I, w- I was working for a man. He was 92 years old. He lives down here in Florida. And he drives and everything. The guy's got all his senses. 92. And I know another guy. He's 94. I went to a party last night, a Christmas party, and uh, 
this girl's father is 94. He, he's got a walker, but, you know, he's got all his senses and everything. So, yeah, I don't I like Betty old. White. Yeah, Betty White, you know, 99. Damn shame she died. Yeah, that's terrible. She, was, she had only two weeks from being 100. I mean, God, why couldn't God see to it that she lived at least three more weeks, at least? You know, I, I found some pictures of her when she was six years old, and I put them on Facebook, because I go on Facebook, too. So, yeah, she has been around. She was around forever, that lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel. She she outliving everybody else, every other old person. That's how my grandmother that. was, you know. My grandmother lived to be like eighty something, and all the friends passed before her. But yeah, ninety something, you know. That's that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Who's this guy now? Oh, that's my friend. I can bring him in too. Uh, he's a nice guy. Yeah, I know him. Uh, yeah, I like too tall. He does a show. He does a show like that guy who feeds his raccoons. He feeds all his animals. That <laughs> well, there's a guy that's got like uh, these animals. You know, I was watching- yeah. He got squir- he got squirrels and all that <laughs> eating off his porch. I'm like, yeah, you know how to feed him, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, how's it going there, Rob? Hey, buddy, how are you doing tonight? Pretty good, man, just hanging out. Yeah. Oh. Rob? Now, who's that up there on the panel with you, bud? Uh, Cole 49ers. Hi, right, Cole. What you drinking? Yeah, right. I'm like, you didn't recognize me, you know? I could recognize you. I don't think I've ever heard your voice. Well, anyway, sound. look what I got hooked up with. One of my local subscribers. Maker's Mart. There you go. And that's a good shit. Darn. And drink, I got, mix it with some Coke. Coca-Cola. Yeah, I, I, got, I knew RC Cola, but Coca-Cola. <laughs> I've been an RC kid for a long time. Actually, Rob, I've been I've been on your panel before, Rob. I'm, you're, yeah, I, I'm not, I just didn't recognize the avatar, your voice, or your microphone sound a little different. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, Rob knows he knows how to attract animals. He got he got the he got the stuff for it. he got this uh, cheese it. Yeah, that's a critter cam. What oh, you gonna feed him with tonight, Rob? Huh? What you gonna feed them tonight? Oh, I got peanut butter and Cheerios and dog food and candy canes and a marshmallow and corn, sunflower seeds, peanuts. What do you feed bears to and stuff? Any bears feel like? <laughs> I haven't seen any bears yet. Kind of been hoping for a Bigfoot, baby. I remember upstate New York when I lived over there. We went to a place, and they were they had bread with honey on it, and the bear would come right up to them and take it from them. It's yeah. wild, dude. black bear. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been camping, and hell, I woke up. I think there's one of my pictures on the internet somewhere. But uh, <clears throat> I sat there and I was sitting there having my coffee, sat down there. I'm just sitting on my coffee, having me a pinwheel or something or another. I look over at this picnic table out in the middle of the park, you know, about 100 foot away from me. I heard a damn bobcat or a cougar or one of them damn mountain lion, big kitty cat son of a bitch is sitting there. Oh, yeah. He just looking at me and I'm looking at him like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Better grab my coffee and my pinwheels and go back in the house for a minute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was out in Colorado. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Anyway, uh, oh, shit, yeah. 
But no, Mike, I was needing a computer guy that I could have on speed dial in case I got in trouble. I could text him and, hey, call me when you got a minute. My computer's doing this. What the fuck do I do kind of guy? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah if I can, I hope you. Know. Yeah, I say here. I'll I'll well, give you. I don't talk on the phone as much, but you know, if you want to text me some, you know, like a quick problem or whatever. But yeah, I don't mind. You know, where you located? Are you in you in the state of Florida? No, I'm in Kansas. Oh, that's right. You said you were in Kansas. Yeah. Uh, there, there's my phone number, Mike. Uh, I don't do a lot of emailing and stuff. My Google Mail's full, and I need to figure out how to preserve that before I delete it. You know, some evidentiary shit. Hear that or open up another email so I can sometimes get my emails in a timely fashion. But, yeah, if you want to, if you want to shoot me a text with your name on it, you know, just put Mike, the computer guy, or whatever, and I'll add you to the phone book. And if I got a struggle, that'll save me a trip or two to town and 20 bucks or whatever the computer guy charges me. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't mind helping you out. You know, you know some, some of that stuff I can be walked through, but some of it I got to take it to the computer guy, diagnose the damn thing, and put new parts in it, and make it work. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Hell, I've got one, two, three. I think I got about five laptop, extra laptop computers here. I only need two in the house, one for the bedroom and one here in my office, living room. A couple of telephones, and I'm ha I can do everything I need to do on YouTube. Oh, uh, this call came. Huh? Uh, somebody else is here. Call came. That call came. King or something like that. I can't see the chat. Let me look. Yep. Call, call, well, let me see here. Call King 916. Right. Oh, Cali King in the 916. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They you know, did this English from when I went to school to learn English, what the fuck it is today? How many like, people can you have on the panel? I think you can only have, what, three or four? No, on StreamYards, uh, what kind of plan are you using? I have the free okay. one, free version. Okay, yeah, I think you can only have six. Yeah. Uh, when, you when you go with the $25 plan, I think you can have 10 and I forget, you know, it might change a little bit on the premium plan for fifty. Uh, I've been with I've been with StreamYards for a couple of years. I'm trying to get him on here if I can, but I don't know if. Um, uh, uh, like I say, you gotta be careful. Some of these guys come up here; and they do silly things like show you their ding-a-ling and then next thing you know you're getting porn bombed and took off of youtube you know yeah you got i know what you're saying you gotta be careful and stuff yeah I mean, i've been around this youtube for a lot there's a bunch of silly motherfuckers that come up here just to show their ignorance uh, oh yeah, and, and excuse that. me for my language but you know i just got to speak freely hell yeah, but you know when you got a black kettle, you don't call it purple or marshmallow. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. You're right. Yeah. Real men have real talk. You know, and you cuss too much. Well, your ears ought to bleed. I don't know. I guess you can curse on here, but you can't curse on YouTube. <laughs> Stream your Oh, own. and apparently, apparently you can't cuss. I mean, when I'm talking to my housing people or my VA housing people, well, you know, this landlord's a piece of shit. And, you know, that air conditioner's fucked up and this house is fucked up. And, you know, can y'all just do your fucking job? Oh, you're offending. It. Well, how about, you know, I didn't tell you you're a fucking jerk. And I'm going to slap the fuck out of you. So how are you offended by what I said? You know, <laughs> I'm just describing the situation with a word that offends yeah, you. Yeah. 
you know, excuse me, but you know, I, I got to, uh, you know, uh, reduce, you know, like I thought I was free to express what I'm thinking when I'm talking to a professional care provider or something or government agency entity. Yeah. Well, I mean, now they don't want us to have any kind of. Uh, I mean, my mother has the privilege to tell me she don't want to hear me say the F word, but, you know. <laughs> I kind of schooled her in her late years, and she kind of understood where I'm coming from. We just don't like it. Well, you know, sorry, Mom, but feelings don't trump my rights. And, you know, if I'm expressing myself, how am I expressing myself if it tickles your ears? You know, that kind of reduces my expression. Yeah. Hey, Mike. <laughs> StreamYards has a how to use StreamYards for idiot video. It's about 20 minutes long. I yeah, highly I recommend. Yeah, uh, I, I used to be on here a lot. I just forgot how to use it, you know? Yeah, you get, you get a little rusty. I understand, you know, in the senior moments and you need a fresh cup of coffee. I understand. I go into a room and I'm like, what am I doing here? You know, why did I come in here? Yeah, like I said, I did, you know, I just, you know, you kind of come off as a newbie for me. I have people, it's funny, you look on my YouTube, it says I've been on since 2014, but I think one time I made a made a channel and then I never came back on and I didn't know how to use it. So um, yeah. people think I've been on for a password, long time. whatever, yeah. You know, it's been like two, three years, I guess, all together. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I, I come into this thing just, you know, goof with camera, you know, video of my dogs and horses and stuff, parades, music. And then I got involved in this cop watching First Amendment community over the last couple of years. Man, some of these people, <laughs> you representing the future of America, we're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, where you live, do you guys have any, like, bad weather and stuff? Because I heard in Kansas, they have bad weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got tornadoes and all that good shit once in a while. It's a nice place tonight, tonight. Yeah, well, I live in Florida. We have these bad weather, too, sometimes, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, Kansas, Florida, hurricane, tornado. I mean, you know, the weather can take you out no matter where the hell you live. It's true, I know, yeah. My fence fell down. Two sides of my fence. Go out there to be Hawaii, and next thing you know, you got a volcano you know, burning up your house. Huh? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, um, 49, do you have your camera on? If I see you, kind of. I just wanted to set your camera. Who, me? No, I was talking to him. Colt? Cold, yeah. Yeah, he just sits there and hides. He, he he doesn't want to show us how handsome it is. He's afraid the girls get jealous. Oh yeah, down there in the bios and stuff. Nah, all the women. I I, I, I don't know. I, I heard rumor that he got disfigured by an alligator when he was a child. I don't know. <laughs> he likes his beer. I know that. Enjoys it yeah. and a cigar. Yeah. Good cigar. Yeah, I, I, bet, I bet he even takes a, I bet he even takes a shower with his cigar and his beverage. Oh yeah, if you can just what will go in between the raindrops, you know you're good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you know, uh, Raccoon got him a piece of sweet potato pie with a candy cane sticking in it. Oh. If, you go, if you go to my playlist, sometimes I'll clip out a priceless moment from the Critter Cam and put the link to the clip over there. Oh, do you have cameras outside? You can check all the animals out. Yeah, I've got a uh, 20-foot USB extension wire, 
out to my porch. Uh-huh. And then I got a tripod with a USB camera out there, you know, just a webcam. And that's, yeah. It's at, uh, I'm using the own ONN uh, webcam. I think it's a 4K webcam. It's a round one that has three light stages on it that you can get at Walmart for 30 bucks. Oh. Pretty good. It's a pretty good little camera. I mean, I've had it out there on the tripod in all kinds of weather for oh, about a year, maybe. That's good as long as it stays, you know. And then I got a tripod I got at the thrift store for three or five dollars or whatever, and a bottle oh, yeah. of water. I, I got a gallon of water on a string to anchor the tripod down so the tornadoes don't carry my tripod off. Yeah. You know, it's, it's one thing to have a tripod to hold your camera up, but it's good to have an anchor on it so it don't take away from you. I hear you. I live in a mobile home. My, my house is tied down with, like, you know, the steel uh, bar, the, what do they call it, like wire. Uh, the, uh, the, those anchor straps? Yeah, like anchor straps, you know. You want to know something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My grandmother, he, she married a fellow after Grandpa passed away. And uh, what the hell was his name? Grandpa Sid. No, no. No, not Grandpa Sid. It was the other guy. Uh, or, you know, the step-grandpa, you'd call him, I guess. But he invented that anchor system for the mobile homes, the strap and the anchor t- the anchor brackets and the stake idea, you know, the, oh, he, 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 he thunk up all that shit and put it in the, you know, patent and whatever manufacturing and shit. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I have a, a, a triple wide. It looks, you know, it's like regular home, but it's manufactured. No. So, so you got two ends in the middle and in the middle on it, huh? Yeah, 1,600 square feet. Three bedrooms. Uh, so, damn. Like on the now, outside, it looks like a mobile uh, home. Come inside, yeah. you'd be like, you wouldn't even know you were in a mobile home. Yeah. Hey, Mike, can you move your camera closer to you? Or, I mean, <laughs> you, 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 you're all framed way back yonder, you know, just. You oh. know, if you, yeah, I could. I got my monitor way in the back. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you could move your camera closer to you, so that you, you know, you know what I'm saying. I have to move the whole monitor, you know. Oh, okay. Well, well, that that's good. I just, you know, you're all way back here. And oh, okay. The further you get away, the further you get away from your microphone, the further, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like you're in an echo chamber and all. Yeah, uh, that, I just that's better. Well, I just, you know, I, I've been around sound radio and a couple stage works. I used to drive a bus for a rock and roll band. I went through sound check and shit. You know, it's just kind of a, you know, if you're going to do something, do it as good as you can. And, you know, somebody's giving you some feedback. You know, they talk about, hey, you're, you know, I'm trying to help you not condemn or criticize you to death. You know what I'm well, saying? I like, uh, you know, you know, creative, you know, feedback. Constructive. Constructive criticism. Constructive criticism, right. And, uh, and I, I got a buddy that's out there with Guns N' Roses. He's a road manager. Oh. He's been with them for about 20 years. He's been all over the world, you know. Yeah. He started out carrying the uh, equipment, and now he's the road manager. Well, what was he manager back in the day at the Checker Dome in St. Louis? He might have been. His name is Del James. Have you ever heard of him? Uh, well, you know they don't announce the they don't announce the tour manager when the show's in town. I, but I was there for uh, for Axel. Well, he's Bill. got two, he's got two uh, books out. You know, uh-huh. possible two bestseller books. Cool. Yeah. 
He yeah. was like their favorite, you know, the biggest fan, you know, and then goes out to California and becomes tour manager. Yeah, and manager and all that. He never had even got his hands dirty, never had a job his whole life. And you know, like that type of person. And then yeah. fell into something. Yeah. I uh I was hooked up and working for the Jimmy Van Zant band. He's the nephew of the Leonard Skinner boys. Oh, cool, yeah. And uh, Back. <clears throat> I had an accident and I had some of my insurance money invested in a bar that a friend of mine, him and his old lady started up. And anyway, Jimmy and the band come traveling through wanting to know if uh, we were open for having a show, to, you know, trying to make some, you know, do some shows. Anyway, uh, so I come into the bar one night, you know, I've got a security and stuff like that. See how things go. You know, you are with your, you know, silent partner. <clears throat> anyway, I'm sitting there at the end of the bar and this guy comes in and he said, how you doing? Got him a drink and comes over and how you doing? Oh, how you doing? You're like, I think I know you, you know, where do I know you from? Like, I don't know you. Well, I'm Jimmy Van Zandt. I'm singing here tonight. Well, that's cool. How you doing? And, you know, and then he played all this Leonard Skinner and all that Southern rock. I was like, damn, this boy's good. And then he was back the next night for another show. We got to talk and then turned to find out that this uh, recording studio that I built up in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, for Merle Haggard and some friends, that he was tangled up with the, some of that. And he was there at the, at the open house party for the studio and, you know, I ran into him there, and like, you know, and he seen me there. And it was all good. But anyway, you know, I'm busted up from this head-on collision just trying to get by and stuff. Anyway, his uh, drummer and driver guy for the motorhome was having to go back home, and he had a new drummer coming in, and he wanted, you know, he asked me, you know, well, you know, we was talking about working and, you know, my accident and things, and, he said, well, man, he said, you know, if you can drive and be out on the road, you know, we can have you in a hotel room or a good bed on the bus at night, you know. Well, I'm like, yeah, I think I can drive the bus for a month or two. We'll see how it goes. You know, so I hired up his driver and stagehand, although I was half crippled on sometimes on a pair of crutches or a cane. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I can I, I could drive the shit out of that bus day, night, all day and night, you know. <laughs> and plus, I was fun to party with, you know. We had, we had a great time, man. Uh, yeah. Me, um, actually, where I live, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Jim Morrison was born in this town. Right. They're trying to sell his house. It's just a little itty-bitty house they're trying to sell for like $3 million. Well, dude, you know, it's Jim Morrison's house, you know? Right. And they got a hotel. They, they tore it down, but there was a hotel and it, had, and it said, you know, home of Jim Morrison on it. Yeah, I, I don't know much of Morrison's. Uh, there was another guy that uh, recently passed away. Uh, I was just watching a story about him and uh, the things with, you know, he did a little bit of a comeback and stuff. <clears throat> well, you know, you know one that? time um, Peter Frampton was going to play at our high school, but he wasn't famous and no one ever heard of him. And when he got famous, they asked him to come back and he was just like, you know, hell with you, you didn't want me before, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I got other shit to do now, you know. Right. And he and actually what he did was he, he played at some girl's birthday party outside. You know. Mm -hmm. So they hung out with Peter Frampton. <laughs> but I mean, you know, you know the old saying, opportunity rarely knocks twice. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like say, you know. One one day I, you know, hey Mike, I'm gonna come see you tomorrow and bring you an apple pie. And you know, well, I ain't got time for that tomorrow, Rob. This at the third, 
you know, how you, know, you think that's going to come around again two weeks later? You're wishing for, hey, Rob, how about one of them apple pies this week? Well, I don't know. I'm kind of busy this week. You know, I got other shit to do. Or, you know, you ungrateful bastard, you didn't have time to go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Yeah, man. I got a joke, Joe. You want to hear it? Yeah, go ahead. I like your jokes. This, uh, just last night, I held the door open for a pretty redhead. I like, red. I said, I like redheads. Tell me more. Tell me more. The wife yeah. saw and said, how come you never hold the door for me? He said, I did. She says back, when? He said back, remember that time you threatened to leave? shit, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Women don't like that joke. I like the one you told me about uh, uh, when you get married, you start out with a diamond and that, a heart, and then yeah, years later, you had a club you, and a spade. Uh, yeah, you got a spade and a club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, I was going to make a video. I was going to make a video and say that, but you would have had to get you know you have probably have the copyrights on that. I didn't mm, want to step no. on. <laughs> Uh, nah, there have been a few people to use my jokes before. Yeah. Hey, hey Mike. Uh-huh. Uh, in, in honor of Eric Brandt, I'm going to steal one of his famous jokes. Eric Brandt, he's the happy fuck, the bad cops guy. Uh, Eric told this joke. What do you call a cop that got cop masturbating on the job? Um, I don't know. Bueller? 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 Pulled pork. <laughs> Man, that's funny. Hey, how is a cop and a tennis ball alike? Mm, a cop and a tennis ball? I don't know. No. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, well, they're both great fun to slam against the wall and watch bounce down the stairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any jokes offhand to tell you guys, but yeah, like yeah. Cole comes up with some good ones. What is hard and dry when it when it goes in your? What goes? What? Nah, here's another one. You want to hear it? I think I think this will make you laugh. Should. What is hard and dry when you put it in your mouth and wet and soft when you take it out? Chewing gum. Oh, well. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. The joke, the thing is, you make people think you're talking about a you know what. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, seventy-two perception. <laughs> hey, there's nice. these two. There's these two. I'll tell you a joke. I got one. You may like it. Um, two gay guys went into a bar and they're sitting there drinking, you know. And uh, it's time to leave, and one guy gets up and. Uh, Turns to the other one, he says, Hey, you want me to push your stool up? That's the joke. <laughs> push your stool up. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yeah. I used to have a lot of jokes. I got so. another one. You want to hear it? Yeah, go ahead. I'm looking at just doing a squirrel right now. I'll be back in just a minute. Let's wait till Rob comes back, yeah. I guess it's better if I'm sitting close to 
I like your background, man. That's pretty cool. It's like psychedelic. I got to check once in a while, see if anybody's on YouTube. You know, nobody's there. <laughs> Yeah, it makes something to drink with thirst. He's got like a psychedelic background over there, son. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mike, you listen to Stevie Ray Vaughan, right? I've heard of his, some of his music before. I'm not a big fan or anything, but I know one of the best good. guitars of all time. Yeah, he was good. Well, I think Jimmy Page was good too. You know, I met yeah. him in uh, Philadelphia one time at a concert. I used to like him, you know, doing the harp, the, what's it called? Oh, it was a good rock band. Yeah, Led Zeppelin, they were good. Ted Nugent. Tom Petty. You know what my favorite rock band is, huh? Yeah, I like a lot of those rock bands. AC, ACDC and people like the Animals, you know, they did the House of the Rising song. George Dorgan. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like the animals too. They were good. Yeah. George Dorgan. Revival. Creedence. They were good too. Yeah. George Dorgan. You know George Dorgan, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Bad to the bone. B -b 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 -bad. Bad. Bum, 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 to the bone. One bourbon, one scotch, one beer. I drink alone. Oh, yeah, that's a good song. If one you don't beer, start drinking. <sighs> one beer, one scotch. Mm. That was a blue song originally. Yeah, I like who the old guy, rock. Who the guy that did a... Yeah, I like the old rock or classic rock. Just like classic country. I like all kinds of music, believe it or not. I listen to rap sometimes, and I like old rock and roll. I like 70s, 80s, 60s, <laughs> you know, rock. Yeah, 70s, 80s, country. You know, 60s and 70s country. O-Town, you know, I like a lot of that, too. I like uh, hey, Jerry Lee Lewis, Original Rock. You know, a friend, of mine, a friend of mine, he grew up with uh, Chuck Berry. Yeah, he was great, too. That was. Is always yeah, working. in uh, Missouri, yeah. that's where he's from, and he used to live there, and they were good friends. Little Richard, Raul Orbison, Gene oh, Vincent. Okay. Hey, Rob.
I know that Maker's Mark got to go good with some uh, RC Cola. Time for the, some gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle, yeah, gurgle. With that whiskey or bourbon? <sighs> whiskey. Without the E. Mm, that good. I'm pretty sure that go good with a nice Cuban cigar. Yeah, that just table temperature. Mm -hmm. Feel the heat, love the burn. Like fireball. Fire. Tastes like heaven, burns like hell. I had a friend that lived in Tennessee and right near. Uh, but he made Jack Daniels, and he drank a whole bottle every day. The guy was really he had bad stomach ulcers. Oh yeah, yeah. Ain't, ain't much future drinking. There ain't much future drinking that much Jack every day. I know. Man. He yeah. was just like, like ended. you don't drink much, huh? No, I'm not a drinker at all. I might drink uh, two beers a month if <laughs> that. I'm a really. Not a drinker at all. I got a... What was that joke I was going to tell? I was going to tell. <coughs> I were going to tell. I like my food, you can tell. You know, you need to lose weight. Yeah. You gained a lot of weight yeah. last year. Yeah, I got a little belly. I got a belly, too. Mm -hmm. As you see, we're... We're both big dudes. Oh, yeah. And we're proud of it. Trying to find my email. Oh, here it is, the email. <laughs> I can't believe nobody's on it's like a ghost town on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh I got yeah. a joke down Mike going here. Anytime. <laughs> Every time. Hi. Yeah, man. Yeah, you listening? Yeah, I hear. Give me here. Just last week, I, uh, I was telling my doctor how everybody hates me. You know what he said? Nobody hates you. I said, how come? And he said back, Everybody hasn't met you yet. <laughs> well, that's a good one. This lady uh, told the doctor that she wanted to pull the plug on her husband in the hospital. And the doctor said, ma'am, I can't do that. He only got a broken arm. <laughs> Marriage is like a deck of cards. All you need is two hearts and a damn man. You wish you had a club and a spade. <laughs> two hearts and a diamond. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh man. You wish you had a club and a spade. <laughs> You're exactly right. <laughs> Oops. Hey, Rob. Yeah. 
If variety is the spice of life, then marriage is the big can of leftover tuna. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right there. Is that music? Can you hear the music over there? Yeah. A little bit. Does it sound good? Sort of. Sounds okay. Well, I'm on the road. I wait. It's my home. Well, I wait. I wait. My younger day. Mama used to pray my crops Now I'm on a future too. I'll be listening to some Bob Dylan music. I like him a lot. That's uh, Merle or uh, Ben and Noel Haggard. They're Haggard grandsons. And that was Ben and Noel singing Merle's song, Running Kind. I've had uh, Noel has been on my YouTube panel. He popped in for a visit one night. That was pretty cool. Blew my mind. I was up there. I had a buddy of mine. He was up on the panel. He said, I got a friend of mine. He might bring his guitar, come over and say, how you doing? You might know him. Who are you talking about? And then, bang. Hey, here's Noel. Noel. Noel Haggard. Like, what the fuck is this? Anyway, he's like, yeah, I'm really my uh, Noel. Yeah. I'm Merle's son. How you doing? They're like, well, I'm doing. <clears throat> this is about a year or two after Merle had passed. And, uh, I told him, I said, I got your daddy's hat that I, when I was in Jackson Hall when we were snowed in up there. We were playing darts and cards and shit over at this million dollar cowboy saloon place. Anyway, uh, me and Merle was playing darts one night. And I put up a wager of my ball cap and $5 to cover a pitcher of beer. And, you know. I don't know what Merle was talking. He was like, well, hey, how about a bet? Like, well, hey, you, know, you know, your money a little longer than mine. I tell you what, just to keep it simple. My hat and five dollars, your hat and five dollars. You know, you try to make get it. Me. Well, anyway, Merle went home with my lumberyard ball cap, and I had his and five dollars for another pitcher of beer. <laughs> Anyway, when his son was up on my panel, it blew me away. And after I found out he wasn't really a troll, <clears throat> I uh, I told him, I said, dude, you know, leave me an address. I'd like to send you your daddy's hat if you'd like. He said, oh, I've got several of daddy's things. He said, you keep it. You know, you hang on to that memory. That's cool. All right. Blew me away. Country music ain't the same as it used to be. Hey, yeah, some of that shit's gotten worse, ain't it? It's like pop mixed with rap. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, now some of it's fun. I mean, I do know some boys out there. You know, you talk about your friend in Tennessee. I got some friends of mine that live halfway down the other side of the mountain from Charlie Daniels place. You either, gotta, yeah. you either gotta go for the like the people that's low rate, like not underrated. Now they get like groups that go out. Yeah. Do you remember uh, Colt Ford? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've rubbed elbows with him, and uh, I've know, even been on a couple of his videos as an extra. You know, he did a song with uh, Willie Robertson from Duck Dynasty called Cut Em All, Jack. Yeah. It's funny. Yep. Uh, you know, that just a couple years ago, I did that video with them. 
another artist that he was sponsoring or signed or some shit. I'll be back. I got to throw this trash. I need some to drink too. Not an alcohol. Oh, fresh coffee. Man, I love that maple pecan pie I got at Aldi's. That'd be some damn good coffee, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, coffee's another thing that could go with a nice Cuban cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee in the sneaker. Oh, there's something wrong with you, boy. Something wrong. A lot of people like coffee with a big Cuban cigar. Yeah. Yeah. I would drink it with bourbon or something. Mm -hmm. I would have it with a bourbon. Scotch. Uh. Oh, damn, my back just popped. Oh, you know, just last week. Place where it belongs. Yeah. You know, just last week, my wife called me upstairs and asked me. No, my wife asked me. Just last week, my wife asked me. You want to run upstairs and make love? Yeah. Just last week, my wife asked me. You want to run upstairs and make love? I told her, you got to, you got to go with one or the other because I can't do both. Yeah. <laughs> I, was yeah, I remember one time my girlfriend told me she wanted me to tie her up and do anything I wanted. I'm like, okay. So I tied her up, put on my leathers, and went for a ride on my motorcycle, bought a bottle of whiskey. I didn't come home for three days. She was <laughs> not happy. <laughs> Tie me up and do anything you want. Like, you know, it's been like, well, you say do what you want it. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think you turn the lights So what do you think about that? College kids up there in Idaho getting killed. <coughs> Terrible. Yeah. And, and it's worse. I don't know which one is worse, that or the shooting in, your, in uh, Texas. No, about six months ago. <coughs> Baldy? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm surprised it took six months to fire an idiot police chief. 
Man, that thing was fucked up from the beginning. All done by an 18 year old. I'll tell you what, and the lawsuits of them parents getting arrested when the police trying to stop them from going in when the police weren't going in. <coughs> I tell you what, they'd have me up on manslaughter when one of them damn cops tell me I can't go into that school and save my damn kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so what's the extent of your computer knowledge and wisdom there, Mike? Say what? I'm sorry. Oh, the extent? Well, I've been fixing them since 1985. You've been um, you've been the computer repair guy at the shop and everything. Yeah, I had a shop, and right now I don't have a shop. I do a on-site visits. People bring them to me, and I go to people's homes. I see. Small yeah. businesses, big businesses. Yeah. You're, you're, you're an IT guy for a few clients. Cool. Yeah, I don't consider myself an IT guy, but I didn't uh -huh. know how to fix them. <laughs> Not like a nerd or a geek, but I just learn how to fix them, and uh, I make yeah. side, you know, money on the side doing that. Along with my other job, I uh, I buy and sell. I go to estate sales and I buy stuff and resell. Yeah, it. yeah, so, I, I I made some money doing that. To go to some auctions and buy some shit and. Of course, I already had a storage shed, so I was throwing some stuff into there, going to them auctions. Then oh, on yeah. the weekend, I'd go down to my storage shed, pull up the lid on my shed. Of course, I'd have an ad on the radio and in the newspaper, and put a sign out there by the street at a four-lane highway going by me. I'd sit there for two, three days straight, just folding money on my junk. Yep. A good thing, man. I got, uh, I was at this one auction and I bought a bundle of old newspapers that was in a, that was in a box, about like a beer box. Uh -huh. And uh, I found the Topeka Journal newspapers that covered about two weeks during the Kennedy assassination. A couple of time, you know, a whole bunch of important Newspapers and publications, there's Newsweek or whatever. But uh, those Topeka Journal newspapers that I had, old crusty newspapers, I sold for 900 bucks for about 18 newspapers. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had a friend of mine up in Minnesota. He was going prison. Uh, I bought his cargo trailer. It was full of all of his uh, karaoke stuff. You know, he'd go to a bar and set up his equipment, do karaoke night. I sold that whole damn trailer stuff. You know, I kept the trailer, but I had that stuff in the storage shed for probably 10 years. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I sold that to a guy there, oh, what, about two weeks ago, $7,000. Yeah, I think you know, about 10 years ago or whatever it was when I bought my buddy's trailer, I bought the trailer and everything in it for 8000 And I sold the trailer after I used it for five years. I sold it for five grand. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you can make some up. You can make some money hustling stuff. Oh yeah. I started getting into that, so. Yeah. Uh, 
sometimes you have a bunch of money and no nothing to sell, and other times you have a bunch of stuff to sell and you're waiting for the money. And, no, and nobody's spending. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's I, I, I ain't too good with tackling with them low ballers. You'll have some there for $25 and they want to get off with it for five. Are you nuts? Man, yeah. I get a lot of them people. Okay. Kind of I, 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 I do them an earful. They don't even think about coming back to hug a haggle on something different, which is fine with me in a way, but probably bad for business. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like, well, you know, hey, you know, what's wrong with telling the truth? I put the stuff on like Craigslist and you know, marketplace. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, some people they want you to give it away, you know. They're trying to make some money out of it. Yeah, you know, like, you know, you're having a damn boat moving sale. You know, somebody's got, you know, a refrigerator for a hundred bucks. Well, I'll give you 20. Like, hey, I'm trying to move. You know, I'm selling this shit so I can have some money, not just give away shit away. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't know. People think like, guy asked me I'm, yesterday, what's the best you'll score with that? I said, the price that's on there. <laughs> I already discounted it. I remember I was having a moving sale in my last day of moving. I was out at a place, no more yard sales tomorrow. You know, and these people thought, well, I'll just come by, you know, when you move and all this shit sitting on the curb and I'll get it for free. Well, all that shit was sitting at the curb, but I had a little small fire for a few minutes. I threw some gas on it and let that burn for about five minutes and then hit it with an extinguisher. Yeah, come get your. Come get your trash pickings now, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, diamond dog, you silly thing. Hey, Mike. You know what a gun and a woman have in common? What? You know what a gun and a woman have in common? No, what? I gotta move my speaker so I can hear everybody. A diamond and a woman, what they have in common? <laughs> a gun and a woman. Hello? Pull in here. What is the answer? You know what a gun and a woman have in common? Oh, a gun and a woman, okay. You don't mess with them if you know they're loaded. They both shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> so if the woman is drunk, you don't mess with her, the gun is loaded, you don't mess with it. Hmm. I'm losing my hair and I gotta move my speakers closer. You're up. You know what a gun and a woman have in common? Do what? You know what a gun and a woman have in common? You don't mess with them if you know they're loaded. Well, I think I'm about to wrap it up and tap it out. Little you know, ladies, old bones down. Anyway, yeah, Mike, shoot me a message, but save that number before you end the stream. Yeah, I did. I wrote it all down. Okay, yeah. Pop me a message when you get a chance. I'll talk to you later, buddy. All right. Cole, man. you have a good night. I'm going to let the camera roll for the critters and get me some rest. Yeah. Lord knows I, I need some beauty rest, don't I? Just look at me. You know, if I'm going to be handsome, I got to get all the rest I can. <laughs> we'll see y'all later, man. Nice to meet. Okay, Rob. See you. My head, you. I'm going to put his number down. He gave me his phone number.
six, six, seven, two, three, four, five. Too tall, Rob, on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, um, called. I'm putting his number down. He wanted me to call him the other day. I was like, I don't really know you, but you know, whatever. Let me see. Gee. Hey, Rob, this is Mike just testing out your number. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not working tomorrow. I took the day off. Getting tired of working. Too tall, Rob. Feeding the critters. <laughs> yeah, he feeds his yeah, he feeds his animals a lot. Yeah, he sounds like it. He got wild animals over there. So. Hmm. We got. We feed the cats here, you know, those stray cats. Mm Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to ask you um, on your videos, right? Do you uh, do you have like all your like? Do you have anything like? You know where it says uh, like when somebody sees your video, do you have a lot of stuff like written in the description? Somebody said you can check a box on YouTube. Yeah. Stay on there. Or uh, something? Some of them got some description. I put some of some stuff in the description to describe more. But not know not nearly enough to explain everything. Just yeah. But you, it's called a description box. You got the title. When you upload a video. You got the title. You got the description. Oh, I mean, I have all that. You got the you video. Know. You can name it, and you and the. The title, you can name it, and a description, you can explain what it's about. No, I know that part, but what I mean is, somebody told me, like, you could check check a box, and everything that you put, all your links and everything like that, will be in all your videos that you, that you have. People can see all that if you, you know. Check some kind of box on YouTube. I'm not sure where it's yeah, at. Description box. Well, I have that on here. I don't, I don't know what that dude's talking about. Yeah, because if you open, like, like on my YouTube, I have a, 
Let me see. Maybe I need to just check the box on there. I haven't really messed uh, around with this too much. Drama. I would literally cut myself, kill myself. I'd do that. rather than I rather kill. I would kill myself literally rather than do that again. After this, what's that? Do what? After I'm talking to somebody. Mm. Hold on, I'm in mute. Yeah, YouTube is kind of crazy in a way, but. Mm. That guy seems all right, you know. The guy Rob. Uh, yeah, I was talking to my cousin. Uh, oh, okay. Got to mute. <laughs> I thought about a promise we made. <laughs> anyway. Literally. Oh yeah, I'm. I ain't explained too much. I ain't explained all that much. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I ain't really. I ain't really say nothing that people will find out about it. Try to keep everything under the covers, and, you know. Well, Rob, he likes to feed his. Uh, he must live out in the wilderness. He likes to feed all his. He gets squirrels and all that. Wow, this one. You got raccoons, cats, birds. Okay. Yeah, that's I've wild. been noticed that. Yeah. It's like Mountain Man, you know. Kansas. That's where they have all the tornadoes. I got a, I got another joke. You want to hear it? Yeah, go ahead. Just last week, I told my wife. To, this last week, I decided to tell my wife the truth. I'm seeing a psychiatrist. You know what she does? Mm -hmm. She tells me the truth. She's seen a psychiatrist, two plumbers, and a bartender. Oh, wow. I thought it had something to do with that. She told you the truth. She's seeing a couple other people. <laughs> She's about four people right now. Damn, man. She's busy. What a whore. She's trifling. <laughs> She's raggedy. Raggedy Ann. Oh, yeah. You ever watch these stand up guys, man? I get a kick out of them. Yeah. I'm a big Rodney Dangerfield fan. He's like the king of classic stand-up comedy. I get no respect. I get no respect. Uh, Most of my jokes come from him. Him and Al Bundy. Oh, Al Bundy. Yeah, he's the best. Rodney Dangerfield, man. He was... I like his stand-up stuff. He does... I don't get no respect at all. Funny yeah, he told me uh, that uh, Rob guy, he sent me a picture of a dozen donuts. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, yeah he's a big apple fritter fan. Mm -hmm. He likes apple fritters and <laughs> sweet stuff. Like a dozen donuts, you know? Yeah, he likes his he likes apple fritters more than anything. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. My wife feeds the cats, the straight cats, but I don't feed no raccoons. I feed the birds, you know, I put food out for them. The cats still scare the birds away though. At least now I can hear everybody. I put my speakers really close. 
Yeah, I can hear you. Really good. I hope nobody uh, sends any funny stuff to your uh, email, Gmail. I hope nobody e email you anything stupid. Oh, because I got it on there? Yeah. I was on there for a second, too. And hope the same thing over here. I got a lot of crazy, stupid stuff. Not from YouTube people, but from, like, you know, um, jobs and all kinds of stuff. But that's not even my email. I don't know why I put that on it. I might have been on there from before. My email is Gmail. It's not even my, it's, just, it's the right email, but it's gmail.com. Here's the picture of the day. You got a joke for today? Who is that guy? He's a Cajun music musician. Oh, Cajun, yeah. One of the very few people that actually uh sing in English. Wow. One of the very few Cajuns. You know, Cajun like to speak only French pretty much. We got uh um, guy, when I lived in Pennsylvania, these guys sit there and uh, with their banjos, and they uh, they play uh, that bluegrass music. Uh, what did, did they look like Amish people? Well, it wasn't Amish country, you know. That's why I used to live near there. But they're white guys, and then there's one black guy, big heavy black guy, and he's good. And, you know, a nice guy. I was friends with him. And they just keep playing that all day, and they got a little tip jar, and people give them money. Down there in Amish country in Pennsylvania. That's yeah, why that's where Amish country's at, Pennsylvania. Lancaster, you know. Yeah. So I lived there 20 years after I left New York, and then I moved down to Florida. Couldn't stand it. the cold, man. It was just too much. Like the wet in Florida? Yeah, I like it in Florida. I'd rather live under a fan and air conditioning and friggin' freezing my ass off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, and they don't really snow down there. But you, I think you have a good time. No, they don't get no snow up here. New York. I, yeah, I'm saying, I, don't, I don't think it really snows in Florida, so I think you're having a good time. In Jacksonville, you know, they said it snowed there before. You know. Especially if we go down by Miami or Tampa. Yeah, that's where they get the storms. They come in down that way. <laughs> yeah, that's, the that's where the Cubans down. that's where the Cubans swim to. Yeah, they swim, make a raft, and they come across there. I like to go to Key West, though. You know, it's nice down there. Keys. A lot of pythons down there. Oh, yeah. You know, I heard that. I mean, we got, you know, the gators here, but I heard that uh, crocodiles were coming to Florida. Started I know Florida had the... Uh... They got a huge snake problem. Yeah. Pythons are clogging up people's toilets. But see, I live on the I live on the East Coast. We don't have too much of that here. Sometimes you'll see that little those little colorful snakes, the real small ones. I heard those were dead. Those were deadly. By you, they got water markers. Yeah, Miami and all that. A lot of swamps, you know. Yeah, I don't fool with no snakes. Ooh, I'm not playing with a gator, but a snake, but no. Huh. And, you, know, got and them, you know, in some, you know, some southern states, you know, and beaches out in the real country, they like to play with, they like to handle snakes. They like to do the snake handling in church. They'd be like, if you believe 
snake, the snake won't bite you. If you truly believe, the snake won't bite you. Yeah, I don't mess with no snake, dude. I'm like, that's bullshit. It ain't up to you. What you believe is up to the snake. What he want to do? Snake you every you know. I feel like I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna take a chance, you know. <laughs> some, some uh, couple of them snake preachers ain't got bit right in the face. Oh yeah. Some of them. I was watching a video. This guy had snakes over in Florida, down you know near Miami, and you know he had a license to keep them. The guy was bit so many times he was immune to it. He wouldn't. He didn't even have to go to the hospital. He was immune to. The venom. He got bit over two hundred times, so he doesn't even have to. Uh, you know, that don't kill him. No, we didn't kill him. He was just so immune to it, used to it in his body, handling him. He got bit so many times. He said that. Uh, there's a there's a guy in Louisiana. You know, he was on some shows. He he like he make a living off cutting logs, tree tree logs. Hey, how, how far do you live from, um, you know, down there where Mardi Gras and all that? About an hour or two away, one and a half. Yeah, I've never been down there. New Orleans? Ooh, New Orleans, yeah. You know, this guy in Louisiana, you know, they made a show about him called Shelby the Swamp Man. He was in a show called Axeman, you know, where they cut trees off. They make money off the log. Oh, wow. He does so many crazy ass things. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. He could literally take the head of a snake. He could take a snake bite and get, bite the snake, give a give, give as good as he got. He could bite the snake head off and shit. Oh One snake he bit, he put the head right in his mouth, bit the head right off, and his head got a bit got got bit in his teeth or his tongue or whatever. He broke on his well, he broke on his teeth. Yeah, that dude is wild. It's crazy. You should see him. They got it on. It's on YouTube. Oh, Shelby the Swamp Man. Oh, that's sick. I'm going to put this thing over here and just out of my way. Yeah, we got. Most of my neighbors have those airboats, you know. You know what's funny? Yeah. You know what's funny about that dude? It was uh, you know what's more funny? Yeah. He ain't scared of shit of a fucking snake, but he's scared of getting punched out by his cousin. He don't flinch from a snake, but his, his cousin made him draw back. Oh, wow. Yeah, you should watch that. They got a couple episodes man, on YouTube, you know. Oh, Return of Shelby to the Swamp, man. I, do, I, like, wow. I like to watch the prison shows, guys on Death Row and stuff. I'm into that kind of stuff. Forensics, any of that kind of stuff is good. First 48 true hours. Crime. Yeah, true crimes. Uh, first 24, first 360, um, forensic files, new detective, all that stuff, man. That's what I'm into. I like that. For, I like that uh, death row stuff and the prison stuff, you know. Don't ask me why. I've never been to prison or. But I just like it. You know. My friend, an older guy, he passed away now. He used to live in uh, Tennessee over by Grand Ole Opry. He told me from his house when he walked to school, he walked by all, all that stuff. He's seen all those stars in there playing their um, guitars and everything. Yeah. I, love a nice, I love a nice guitar. 
he grew up with all that grand old opera. He said his family, a lot of people used to make moonshine in the in the, in the mountains and the woods over there. Yeah, now we're in Nashville. That's where he's from. Oh, yeah. Hey, I don't know where all these people are, man. I can't believe it. I, I, you know, some of these, whatever happened to those big chat rooms we used to go to, it was like two, three hundred people in there. You don't see that on YouTube at that moment. Mm. There's a couple guys, they had these big rooms, you know, and you go in there and try, try to get people to, you know, subscribe to you and all that. I guess I don't see that no more. I looked around, but it don't look like they have that no more. Mm -hmm. We get those snakes over here, and they're called uh, racers. They're just black snakes. They they're scared of you. They run away when they see you. They're not poisoned. You run away when you see any snake. I know. I don't see them too often. Every once in a while, you'll see one or two of them. But since we got a lot of cats around here, they don't come around often. And now it's getting cold here. So they must hide somewhere. I live in Pennsylvania, up in the mountains. They have rattlesnakes because you can see their skin. They shed their skin around the rocks up in the Appalachian Mountains. A lot of rattlesnakes up there. There's a place about half an hour from where I live here in Florida. It's a reptile place. They have all snakes. In I never went in there, but it looks pretty cool from the outside. Man, this guy. Rob, you're in your early 60s, huh? How does it feel? Oh, he's being 60. Just get sluggish. Well, because I'm overweight. Well, I'm going to try to lose the weight. And once I lose the weight, I don't feel no yeah. different. I'm a big dude, too. I'm, well, I don't even see me. Yeah, I'm you a big a dude. Yep. I had, to, I had to skip tons of meals and have taken some medicine that I came in and maybe lost a lot of weight over these two years. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I was damn near 400 pounds. Now I'm back in the 200s. Wow. How much? You know how much you weigh? Me? Yeah, I'm up there. I weigh like 270. Yeah. Yeah, I gained a lot. After I quit smoking, uh, I gained a lot of weight. But recently, in the last year, I probably gained like 50 pounds. So I got to get back to... Uh, uh, over the year, I, I, I lost like 90, 90 pounds. I've been going to the park, walking and stuff, you know, trying to get back into shape. It's harder when it's harder when you get older. It's not, it's not as easy anymore. And stuff to eat too. I eat a lot of the wrong foods. I'm trying to get better with that though. Yeah, I'm trying to do better, but I'm trying to. 
I'm trying to get more active too. I used to be very active. You get older and you're heavy, you don't feel like doing anything. I had to force myself. Yeah, enjoy your life now because when you get older, man, you got high blood pressure pills and all kind of pills you got to take. Yeah, ain't no fun. Ain't no fun, that's for sure. Yeah. Like I, I wasn't like back in the eighties. <laughs> oh, it was a lot better back then. I loved it in the eighties. You grew up in the sixties and seventies. It must've been great, huh? Yeah, I grew up in the seventies and eighties, not the sixties, but I, but I remember a lot of that. You know, people would still be into that stuff, like Woodstock. And, all that. I grew up in the 70s. I, would, I grew up with disco, new wave, punk rock, and all that old style music, uh, hard rock, southern rock. Yeah. The 70s and the 80s. That was the best time for music, in my opinion. Yeah, music ain't the same ever since. Yeah, it's not the same anymore, you know. That's why when I listen to music, I'm, I, I got, <coughs> I got Spotify on my phone. When I go to work and stuff, I listen to, uh, you know, uh, Bob Dylan, Neil Young. Uh, I listen to a lot of Motown. I listen to you know, all kinds BB, of BB King, John Lee Hooker. Stevie Wonder, um, you name it. I'll tell Jerry you, Lewis. I don't have any hand, but I'll tell you what some Willie, of them. Willie Nelson, Buddy Guy, Johnny Cash. My brother was, uh, he, he used to be into jazz. He met Miles Davis. He named Pat Miles. Everybody, Davis was a terrible person. My brother didn't matter. Dizzy Gillespie, he played the trumpet. Tommy Dorsey. I liked, uh, I listened to the Hot Chili Pepper, Neil Young, Neil Diamond, um, Abba, Bob Dylan, yeah. Thompson Twin, Rap. I listened to Nirvana. Well, uh, what's another good rock band? The, Anim the Animals, Josh Dorga, and the Destroyers. Oh, Steppenwolf, Deep Purple. Yeah, yeah Smoke on the Water. Oh, yeah, I seen them in concert. Fire in the Sky. Yeah, yeah Smoke on the Water. ACDC, Kiss. Yeah, ACDC, Back in Black. Kiss. Kiss, um, Detroit Rock City. I like Billy Idol. Kurt Cobain. Yeah, Kurt Cobain. I like him. That's Nirvana. Huh? Nirvana, you know. That's another good rock band. You said ABBA, huh? Yeah, ABBA's a little different. It's kind of a acquired heart. That's another good rock band. I like, uh, but I'm a, mostly a country guy. Led Zeppelin, Steppenwolf, Cream, Eric Clapton. Yeah, Sunshine of Your Love. 
sunshine. Ginger Baker, well, he's dead now. But, um, Johnny Cash. Chris love Chris, Johnny uh, Cash. Jerry Reed, Lynn Campbell, Merle Haggard, Campbell, Billy Nelson, Merle Roy Haggard, Clark, I like the uh, original rock and rollers, Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, Gene Vince, uh, Gene, Jerry Lee Lewis, Roy Orbison, Lil yeah, Richard, John, Chuck Berry, John, Fats John. Domino, oh, Gene Fats Vincent, Domino, great. Blueberry Hill. Down Chuck Berry. My ding a ling. I had that on the other day. What that song? My ding a ling. Everybody playing with your ding a ling. That's Chuck Berry. <laughs> He's not talking about his balls. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't singing, you're playing with your own ding a ling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like all that. I got it. my playlist. <laughs> I can jam out. Jim Morrison and Doors. I like that too. Earth, Wind, and Fire, um, Tina Turner, that's good shit. I can't think of everything now, but I love all kind of music. Nothing like the 80s and the old music. 70s, 80s. Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder. Al Green. Um, Lou Rawls, you'll never find another love like mine. You'll never find. <laughs> Man, he's top there. And uh, what's going on? Another guy. Uh -huh. I heard it through the grapevine. I'm about to lose my mind. I heard it. What's that? Joan Jett. That was a lot of good one. Lita Ford. Eagle. I love rock and roll. But another, but another time in a jukebox, baby. Um, yeah, that's good, too. I like the 80s, too. New Wave, Blondie, Heart, Barracuda. Uh, Blondie, see, see, I'm going to speak for Bar Barracuda. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Heart. <laughs> and uh, oh, hard, man. even Beat Love, he's got a couple good songs. Oh, he loved died too. Yeah, he died too. A lot of them did. Mm. Yes, sir. You know Ted Nugent? You know he did that strong stranglehold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed, man. I'm getting really tired here. Yeah. Probably have to talk to you tomorrow or later on. Okay. I like uh, my old songs. Yeah, I wish you came back soon, I like. Are you here now? Huh? I remember the last time I saw you, uh, you were like, I mean, yeah, it was like February or January this year. 
think it was like early this year. I think I believe it was. Okay. Yeah, I believe it was like early this year. Last time I saw you. How about Dolly Parton? She's good, too. Yeah, Dolly Parton. I like Loretta Lynn. Yeah, Roulette, oh, Loretta Lynn. She was great. Love her songs. Her sister, Crystal Gale, was a, she was a hottie, too. She was great. But she's good, but... Even uh, Johnny Cash and his wife, too. They sound good together. Hey, June Carter, yeah. June Carter, yeah. I watched that on the internet. They, the last live. They did. did Jackson together. Mm -hmm. John Lee Hooker, who's a boom, 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 boom. He went to the prisons, played for all the prisoners. Yeah, he made a thing off of playing for Atlanta prisons. Boston Grizzlies, as a matter of fact, he wasn't even such a big guy until he, until he uh, did live at Boston Prison. Live at Boston Prison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my name is Johnny Cash. Who's this knucklehead here? <laughs> Yeah, probably watching the TV. Uh, I hope you don't get copyrighted for all the music that was played in, in, in this stream. A lot of music was played. Chicago Culture Club. You know, uh, you know, buddy guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was great. Danny yeah. Winters. Muddy Walters. Muddy Walters. Bob Seeger, Billy Joel. Yeah. Village people, they were good. Bobby Gentry. Oh, yeah. I used to love Bobby Sherman. Only to, only to Billy Joel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gordon Light put Dire Street. Yeah. Steely Dan. Oh my Here's another good one. Man. Yeah. Survivor, Bill Collins, Donna, Orient, uh, T.O. Dion in a Belmont. Oh yeah, Dion the Belmont. <laughs> Frankie Louis Bremer. Beach Boys, that's another one. Louis, uh, Louis, uh, Tony Bennett. Yeah, some good music up there. Uh, what? Conway Twitty. Yeah, I never got into. Mike got kicked out. He'll be right back. Thank you. 